What's going on guys? Tonight I'm going to do a uh, quick little video here that covers how to use the uh, Remini Web AI Image Enhancing. Uh, it's, like I say, it's a website that lets you upload images to do AI uh, upscaling and enhancement of the image. The problem has been up until now that you've only been able to upload one image at a time. And I'm going to show you guys how to get around that and do up to roughly 1800 images at a time uh, fairly quickly. So stand by and we'll get started on that here in just a moment. If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks. Alright, so this is the site, which I will have a link for in the description. But basically, they give you a little demo here, this slider that moves back and forth, and allows you to uh, kind of see a before and after of kind of what a blurry image will look like. And then after you run it through their enhancement, you can see just how much it does to it. Now, it's kind of questionable how natural it sometimes looks. The better quality the image is to begin with, uh, the better results I typically get. Uh, if it's really crappy, it'll make something out of it. Sometimes that'll be usable, and sometimes it'll do kind of horrific stuff, which I don't know if we'll get an example of it or not, but basically sometimes like the teeth will look really weird. Like they'll end up with like an extra row of teeth, or like some of them will combine into one big tooth. Uh, or just other weird stuff, like their mouth won't look right, or their nose is cockeyed, or whatever, like it'll combine things because it's just kind of guessing how it should look and sometimes it gets it wrong. But usually it does a pretty good job. So I'll just give you guys a demo here of what one image would look like. So uh, I've been working with this guy. I'm not gonna go into too many details, but this is a, uh, someone requested I make this privately for them. This is a uh, another DeepFace Live. The, the, the guy's a public figure though. He's a, he's a model, uh, he's Italian. So anyways, not going into too many details. Like if I upload this image, you can see here, this is what it looked like, which isn't bad. Uh, and again, these are not super high res to begin with. They're 512 by 512 pixels when I extract them from the original video source. But you can see here, just what it's done. I mean, you've got individual hair details, and the eyebrows and the teeth are all much more deta detailed and refined. And just in general, looks better. I mean, I don't know if I would say it looks natural because I feel like it gives everybody kind of the same skin texture. Um, it's sort of like GAN. I think this does use GAN actually to do this upscaling, some kind of, you know, GAN AI enhancement um, to, to, you know, to to sharpen everything, which is kind of the same thing that, of course, uh, we're doing with Deep Face Lab on the final setting to sharpen up the image before uh, before it's done. So this, I think, is using something similar, but it just does it you know, it's doing it very fast with a single image. So anyways, that is uh, originally all you could do on this site was one image at a time. Now you can see they have an option for videos. Now video, uh, I wasn't sure what they were going to let you do. And unfortunately it is pretty limited, which is why I can't, like I say, we're not going to be able to upload a ton of images at a time. But I did find a way to do upwards of, like I say, up to like 1800. I'm going to show you guys about a 1400 as a demo here just because I have some that I'm going to do of that actor we were just looking at, uh, Francisco Lukowski is the guy's name. Um, anyways, what I do is, is first of all, when you extract your image files out of a video clip from, uh, you know, uh, using the Deep Face Lab software, you end up first of all with a bunch of images, and then when you extract from those the faces that you want, you get all these, depending on what resolution you do, I usually do it like, say, 512 by 512, and you can see what that's what they are in the dimensions, it says... Uh, you know, 512 by 512 pixels, and I have sorted out, it says I've sorted out like 1739, for some reason when I try to make my, um, use this in Adobe, it's only getting like 1400 of them, so some, one of them must not be named right, and it's breaking up the sequential numbering, so that's what you have to have, is you have, um, you need an image, or sorry, a, a video editing software, like in my case, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, I'm sure Sony... Vegas Pro can do this, or any kind of video editing software that will let you make what's called an image sequence. So, like I say, as long as the numbers uh, are in order, it will add each of them to an image sequence and create an MPEG-4 file out of this. So I've got, again, 
Uh, it says I got 1739. It's actually going to pick up about 1400, which tells me that one of these somewhere in here is named something wrong, but it's not big enough of a deal for me to screw with it. I just want to show you guys how this works. So I've got that uh, file path saved because I'm going to need that to import these. Now I've got a project started already in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm going to tell it down here in my project section here that I want to, it says import me to, to start. I'm going to tell it to import. And as you can see here, I've already been in this folder, but if you don't know, uh, or say if, if it isn't already, you need to navigate to the folder that contains your images and click on the first one and then make sure this little bottom check mark here is this image sequence is checked. So mine's going to start with number 4906. And like I said, it's not going to get quit all these for some reason. Um, I got about 39 seconds worth, but it's already imported all those that quick. I drag them over here and I get about 39 seconds of video. And as you can see, this is how I've done those videos on my channel before where you guys see like sequences of uh, face sets that I've done. This is the same concept that I did to do that before. So I have uploaded that. If I play it, you can see it's got all those images in there and each one of them is in there just for like a split second. But like stuff like this, this is a good point I stopped at. I mean, that's just a blur. That's just like a white line. And when I upload this, I almost guarantee you we'll have some usable teeth out of that. Like, it'll replace it with something viable. So I'm going to tell it to export this. It doesn't matter where you export it at, but I'll probably just throw it in that same folder in that workspace. Uh, looks like, actually, that was the last place I worked anyway, so that's fine. Um, I'm not going to change any of the settings. We're going to keep it at 512 by 512 and export because it has to be again we can only have up to a minute and or like a and 60 megabyte file size so if i start increasing settings to improve the resolution or anything the file is going to get too big and it ain't going to work so that's been spit out and here's the file that we just created it's only 13 megs and it's 39 seconds so um you know you could probably i probably could have up the settings a little bit to get a little bit better quality but that's fine so you can see what it's doing here that's the same thing we were just looking at, burning through pictures of, of Mr. Lukowski. Now I'm going to go to the Remini site and say I want to upload the file. But instead, this time, I'm going to navigate and click on the image sequence MPEG-4 we just created and tell it to do that. It's going to upload, and it shouldn't take it very long. Last night it was doing these in about a minute if that, and those were slightly larger file sizes I was screwing with. It says it typically enhances in no long, more than two minutes. Let's see if they're right. Now the downside to doing this for like Deep Face Lab is then you gotta go back and re-extract all the faces and exeg them again. Because I tried doing like a metadata restore on it last night for those of you who know that what that means it didn't recognize them as even though the file names were the same um it didn't it didn't work for some reason so whatever that's not that big of a hassle and for the quality gain you get normally you would just do this before you had already done all these extraction steps i think if uh well i don't know at least before you exeged it and whatnot like if you were using this as part of your workflow you would extract images extract the faces enhance all of it all right now as you can see it's been uploaded here and they're burning through it again. But if I pause it at any point, you can see how much sharper it is. And I don't know if I can kind of slowly go through some of these. So like that's pretty sharp. And none of these were all that great. I mean, they're okay. Most of this stuff was like 720p and some of it was 1080p, but not very good 1080p. Like whatever kind of camera they were using wasn't all that amazing. These are younger photos of this guy. He's, I don't know how old he is, but he's probably like 10 years older than this now. And so these are, were shot a while ago on a lesser camera. But you get the idea. It has created this video. I'm going to tell it I want to go over here and download. It's going to create a file called combined.mp4. And I can minimize that. I'll drag that back up to my deep face lab folder closing out my downloads and now i have a file full or a video of upscaled high res images which all i got to do let me go in here real quick 
I'm just going to replace all these ones that I just made eventually. So I'm going to delete the ones that I had. Well, the other option is just to use them as supplementary. I think I'll just use them as supplementary. So we have some that are better quality. That's what I did uh, with Gal Gadot, Gadot last night, or Gadot, however you pronounce it. So I'll just rename my data source folder, make a new folder, also named data source. This is how I do a bunch of sources at one time, and then I just combine them all into one. So I've got a new data source. I'm going to name this, uh, well, this is the old one I had of him. So whatever, just name that something else. Change this one to data source again. I'm going to tell it I want to extract images from that video. It's pretty short, and they're not, again, they're just 1024 by 1024 right now, so it's not going to take it very long to do this. I should have about that 1400. This only got about 1,200 frames out of that, so it may not be like one-to-one. -one. I might be losing a couple images, I guess. Hmm. It's only got 1177. I thought we had a little bit more than that. Interesting. But now you can see, I can go in here, and, you know, I'll probably go through them a little bit and just make sure that there's none of them that are really kind of weird or bad. Because like I say, sometimes you do get, I mean, you can kind of look at like the bottom of his teeth here. It's still sort of a white bar rather than being really well-defined teeth. So I don't know, but it's got to be better than what it was. Uh, like that looks really good. That's good. This one is just kind of a white bar again. It kind of just smears them together sometimes. So maybe not so amazing on 100% of our results. Looking for some other, like that's pretty pretty good you can kind of see here almost like the upper teeth have almost kind of melded into the bottom teeth maybe a little bit so not always perfect you know what i'm saying it's like it's good maybe in time they'll uh, improve their algorithm a bit and this will get to the point where it'll be pretty much flawless so the trick is this is like a one week um you know like trial subscription. I'm not going to tell you guys how to create an account on the site. It's not that complicated. Like I see, you just go in here, you go to the account section. It'll give you the option to create an account with, uh, with your, either like your existing Google, Google account. You can log in with your Facebook credentials, or you can log in with some kind of Apple credentials. Uh, I don't have any Apple accounts, so I don't really know what that would entail, but I'm sure it's the same concept. And then it'll give you an option to do like a personal account, a business account, or a corporate account. Um, the, ch the cheapest is the personal, but that limits you to like 20 images a week, which is stupid and you can't do videos. Uh, so you want to do the business account, which it doesn't, you don't have to own a business. Like it doesn't ask you for any credentials. It just wants money. So you tell it that you want to do a business account and you want to do your free week, one week trial. You can set up your payment through PayPal or a, you know, credit card or whatever it is that you want to use, but you set up your account, like I say, Mine is currently set up for a business plan, uh, free for seven days. Then it's $25 a month, or you can pay by the week, but it's more if you pay by the week. Like if you pay by the month, I mean, 25 bucks is a fair amount of money for sure. But if you do a ton of this kind of stuff, which I make lots and lots and lots of deep fakes, um, to improve their quality, like, especially if you're trying to make something with like an older, um, like an actor from a basically a different era, it's like, where are you going to get? Uh, you know, good quality footage, there probably wasn't any. So you might need to use something like this to at least try to get it viable. Um, I don't know, I was going to say, like, maybe we could find some kind of an old-timey image on Google. I don't know if I want to do that on here or not. Let me just see. Uh, 1930s um, singer, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Let's just find somebody from from way back in the day. I mean, these are already pretty good pictures. That isn't really proving my point too good. I don't know. These are all kind of sharp figures. I don't know. I mean, this one's not so amazing. Let's download that one and see what happens with it. So this is, uh, I don't know what her name was. Uh, 1930, I'll name that one, whatever. And I'm going to come back here and I'll go to my downloads and we'll see what that one can do. So, I mean, you've got teeth now, like defined teeth. 
before, I mean, you can see kind of how bad this, I don't want to say bad, but like not great it was. It just doubles the resolution and then it does the uh, upscaling algorithm to improve teeth and whatnot. But you can see how blurry this was. And now at least you've got some definition of the eyes. I mean, this is pretty low res and it was pretty bad quality. So, you know, it's it's not a miracle worker, but it can do quite a lot. So you've got teeth there and so forth. So if you wanted, again, like if you found some old timey footage of like a, I know I've seen videos like on YouTube of people who have done restorations of like really old videos and they've done like some AI upscaling on the video itself, but also like individual imagery and they run through programs like this that improve it quite a bit. So like I say, hopefully that's been helpful to you guys. Ultimately, like I say, you create that business account uh, with your week one week trial. And as long as you cancel before the end of the one week, you don't have to pay anything. So you're calling if you would like to continue to pay them, if you feel like you're going to use this a bunch, which again, I might keep paying for it. I might not, or I might just try to run a bunch of stuff through it while I can. Or like once in a while, you can give them, like if you want to do it by the week and you feel like you're only going to use it like a few days out of the month or something, give them, the, I think it's six fifty a week on the business account if you do it weekly. So give them $6.50, get everything you need to do uh, using this multi-upload method here um you know get all your stuff out of the way in like a few days or in a week or something and then you don't have to use pay them again until the next month that's not that much money for the kind of uh if this is something you really need and it's something really useful to you so hopefully that's helpful to everybody uh if you like the, the channel give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would be so kind and leave any comments in the comment section if you have any questions let me know i think it's fairly straightforward in the sense that just basically, like I say, make an image sequence out of whatever images you want to use. You're limited to a minute and 60 megabyte file size. Upload the image sequence. Uh, you know, let it spit that out. Download it back down and break it back down into individual frames. And voila, you've got quite a few, uh, you know, nice high res options or like nice well defined options for not just for deep faking. I'm sure people will use this for other than that, but that's of course what I'm using it for. So I appreciate everybody watching the channel. If you liked it, give it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys again here in the near future. Take care and have a great one.